hey guys welcome back to another vlog so today i am kicking off my nesting vlog so i'm only 32 weeks you guys won't be seeing this video for a while <laughs> and i don't plan to get everything done in this one week or whatever which is why it's going to be like over the next couple of weeks so basically in this vlog i'm going to be washing all the things like not necessarily miscellaneous things but miscellaneous things and then also doing some um cleaning for like bottles pump parts all that type of stuff so yeah i'm going to assemble the swing i'm going to get the stroller together the bassinet all of that good stuff so this vlog is gonna be over the the next couple of weeks and i'll be showing you guys what i'm doing each day that i decide to do something because i'm not going to be doing something every day and i figured i would prefer to do it like this instead of taking one day to do everything and then be like super exhausted or whatever because right now i'm already str <laughs> struggling this is the drying rack that i have this is the space saving one um i had this and another one on my register when i got this one i was like you know what i think that i just want to have this one so i took the other one off so we're gonna have to you know clean this stuff and then i have the carrier which i'm gonna get out the packaging and then i have the boppy and let's just get it out the packaging right now This is her little weekender bag that Jordan got her and I've been throwing all the stuff in there. Like when I separate stuff that needs to be washed, I just throw them in there and once they're washed, I take them out and everything. Then I have the Snuggle Me, which these come with covers. I don't think I'm going to buy a cover. I think that every time I use it, I'm going to just put a blanket in there and she has enough blankets. This one does have a cover on it, but I know that much. This is the My Breast Friend Pillow. Is there a tape on this or is it just hard to get out of the pocket? Okay, there we go. I just got all the covers off all that stuff um i'm also thinking to throw this in the wash this is the bath flower that we got the car seat stroller bassinet and the swing are all still in their boxes those are the only things i still have in boxes like the bigger things and with the car seat you know you don't want to put the car seat in the car too early so i'm not really in a rush to take it out but at the same time i want to have everything washed and whatever um so yeah i think for today i just want to get everything organized i have this little jar with her pacifiers i have a few other ones that i need to put in here and then i'm going to put her pacifier clips and everything i hate that it doesn't suction it drives me crazy um but anyways all of those will be sanitized and stuff probably the same time when i'm doing like the bottles and stuff like that
Okay, so I have this bin right here that I'm using for storage right now. And everything in here has been washed and sanitized and everything like that. And I showed you guys me boiling some of the stuff, but I didn't like keep the camera rolling because it was very repetitive. So I felt like it was pointless to just keep showing the same thing. But as you guys can see, there's lots of models in here, a lot of Medela um because you get all of these with the burst milk storage solution set and then we have some komatoma bottles in here we have two of them and then these are um nipples and lids for these bottles so like if you want to take this off this is just for the storage like for you to see the day and time and then this would actually be the nipple and the cap and everything like that and then you know the bottle brush and i have this nuke bottle i have two of those and two of the komotomo ones and then i have this phillips avent bottle which um this is only one because i got this in a bag from bye bye baby and then i still have another bin of bottles which has like um bigger bottles because most of these i think hold up to five ounces yeah all these hold up to five ounces the ones in the other bin hold up to nine ounces and then some of them are recommended for um four plus months and stuff and then i have a few nipples in there that are for four plus months because these ones are for zero to four and they're a slower flow whatever on the side there's some um breast milk storage bags i have some from dr brown's which i also got in that thing from bye bye baby and then we have the medela ones right there but yeah this bin is full this little thing came with the storage solution set it's for keeping it in the fridge um so you can keep it organized and everything i also have this little glass thing right here that i have all of the pacifiers and teethers and then the pacifier clips and everything so all of this has also been washed and sanitized and these are bottles that came with the cooler storage set i think that's the name i forgot but these ones i'm just gonna put them back in the cooler bag that's for like on the go if you need to um pump and then keep it cool this dapple baby dish and bottle soap is what i used for um everything and then in here i also cleaned all of these these are like things for like medicine temperatures grooming stuff so yeah i clean and sanitize all of this stuff as well i did my medela pump so i haven't done the lv pump parts uh, not LV, I'm sorry. I haven't done the Spectra pump parts and then also, like I said, the other bottles that we don't need right away. So I have the bassinets assembled and do not worry I'm going to be washing this and everything I just needed to figure out how to put together first 
so i don't know for some reason it took me a while after i got everything done there's some snaps on there that you're supposed to like click in place and i don't know why i was struggling to figure that out but i got it so now i feel better with taking the stuff off and washing it and everything like that but yeah this is how it looks and it's on wheels so it moves and everything like that and then um i'm gonna put on the thing on the top of it like this with the toys and everything but i haven't put it on yet because i'm gonna take the thing off so i can wash it so i don't want to put it on and then yeah so after we wash that i'll put this on and everything but so far so good Hey guys so it's been a while since i've picked up the camera the last time i did any vlogging i was 32 weeks i believe or at least that's when i did the intro and then i had showed you guys me boiling bottles and pacifiers and all those things and then i showed you guys me assembling the bassinet um the stroller we took off car seat covers all the things and right now I'm actually going to be boiling some more stuff. I am going to be doing my Spectra parts. And then also I ended up going with the LV Curve instead of the Haka. Just because the LV Curve you can put it like in your bra. Um, the Haka is relatively affordable. So if I decide that I do want that instead I can always get it. But yeah I went with the LV Curve and I had a gift card so it worked out perfectly um so i just have everything in this dish pan right here this is what i used when i was doing the bottles and stuff as well i got this from target it was super cheap but um yeah definitely recommend getting a dish pan so you're not putting your bottles and stuff just like in the sink or whatever so i have the um spectra bottles tubes phalanges all that stuff and then the lv i just disassembled as well and then i'm only washing the 28 millimeter ones because they come with two um it comes with 24 as well but this is the size that works for me i don't even think i tried the 24s i first opened the 28s and i tried them and they worked so i was like okay I'm just gonna do this one i'm not show you guys much of anything in a while so i ended up getting a hamper which i got recently i've been doing some shopping but for my friend bella's shower it's coming up i think in about two weeks really excited for that so happy for her um and then everything's clean now so i can put the cover back on the boppy i did put the cover back on my breast friend pillow that was such a headache such a hassle it's so hard <laughs> um also putting back the cover on the car seat was not easy um everything like that haven't put on the bassinet sheet as yet because I just don't want it to get like all dusty and stuff. I had gotten some more burp cloths in and stuff. I washed those. And I'm going to show you guys this cart that I'm going to use for my bedside cart. So I know there's a lot going on in the background so please ignore it. That is my hospital bag right there and then that's the bassinet right there. This room is not necessarily organized how I want it to be yet because I'm thinking of rearranging the whole room <laughs> we will see how it goes but this card I got from five below and it was only ten dollars and when I saw it I was like okay it's kind of small but I'm gonna make it work just because I don't really want one of those typical metal three tier ones because I feel like they're overpriced like why this doesn't belong on the cart I just brought it in the room so I could put all the stuff in there but yeah down there I'm gonna keep my spectra along with all the parts for it and then i'm gonna keep like um what are those called nursing pads and whatever else and then i'll probably put like some snacks down there as well because you know 
I've heard when you're breastfeeding, you do get really hungry and really thirsty and all that stuff. So, yeah. And it also takes up quite a bit of space because, like I said, this thing is not very big. So, it's not very wide. And that's the problem. So, I have to use both hands to get that out, I think. Um, so, yeah. And then up here, I just have this IKEA bin. Um, one of the ones that I used to organize the drawers. I'm just going to put that in there and I'm going to put burp cloths and stuff in there. This I'm going to put in the diaper caddy. I just set it right there. And then these are some uh, nursing pads that I have that um, they came in this box. And I just took some of them out because, girl. And then up here I'm going to keep the diaper caddy, which is quite wide for this surface area. But I'm going to make it work because, like I said, I just don't want to get the bigger cart please just ignore the chaos i'm not one of those people who's like um you know once the bed is made i don't get back in it no i'm gonna get back in it especially right now when i'm tired and 35 weeks pregnant i've gotten this box from my doctor's office and it's super cute it has a whole bunch of samples in there and these they gave us some pacifiers i forgot that these were in here so we could probably boil these too since we're <clears throat> since we're boiling stuff and these are diapers um baby aquaphor a lot of lotion they gave me like some andy preventative one I, I have the big size andy that's like the treatment one they gave me some baby wash and shampoo this is a dr brown's bottle which am i gonna use this bottle i don't know because i have so many this is some liquid IV, which I really am excited for. I've heard great things about this, and I want to try it. So, yeah. And then there's like a drift sample in there, and then some gripe water sample. Alright guys, so this is what the cart looks like. This is the diaper caddy on the top. And then in here, I have the clothes that I told you guys about in that IKEA bin. This is a changing pad. These are the nipple shields that I just put a few of them in a Ziploc bag. And the reason why I do that is because I'm just... Mm, something about lint and pet hair and everything just being on stuff drives me insane <laughs> and then i have some hand sanitizer here and then down there i have the spectra and then all the parts that i boiled and sanitized and everything put them in a ziploc bag as well because i need them to stay clean they're gonna be there for a while before we even need to use them so yeah in here i have these down the bottom the nipple shields not nipple shields the nursing pads i had the nursing pads down there as well um so then that would free up some space in here and i can just use this space for like snacks and water bottles and um what do you call it nipple cream and all that stuff so yeah we'll rearrange this as time progresses but in here when i move the changing pad in this um thing i have two swaddles two blankets two sleepers so that's that and then i just put the changing pad back right here i'm also gonna wrap this up because like i said we got a couple weeks to go and i'm really funny with leaving stuff out in the open that's why i haven't done any like open concept for like the closet or any um pacifiers or nothing on display really even though i love the look of that but i just mm, it drives me crazy i need everything to have lids and be put away <laughs> okay and then we're just gonna run through what i have in the diaper caddy up here this is the top of the diaper caddy you guys can see i have diapers over here pretty sure these are all pampers and then i have some parents choice wipes and a burp cloth washcloth towel um i have some desitin i have aquaphor um and and then i have the frida um nose frida stuff so i have the spray for that then the tube and that and then burp cloth and um i have a pacifier clip in here and on the back of it or the side whatever i have this is also another aspirator and then i have all the little sample size stuff that i was showing you guys that was in the box and then on the other side because there's compartments all around it so on this side i have the thermometer i have nail clippers and i have some of those what do you call them 
these things I forgot what they're called emery boards um, and then I have a comb and a brush and that's everything that is in that part Thank you. 